Hello, welcome to Bikers Travelogue on Revelator Alf. So, just been uh, out in the forest uh, again, and a uh, bit of a bit of a oops. Uh, yeah, the uh, the bike got stuck. I ended up having to drag it out and you know claw it out with my with my fingernails. Uh, but eventually got it out. Uh, but you know the trails are getting wet now. Although if you look at the trails right now, it's rock hard and dry. But actually, in certain in sections, especially in the trees, any kind of rain. Uh, it just saps it up and it stays uh, wet for a long, long time. Um, so it's only right, the really hard compacted trails that are good. As soon as you start going off pieces, <laughs> I did there a little bit, that's it, you know, got yourself in trouble. But, you know, got out of it. That's the most important thing. Um, bike's still running well, uh, but again, it's a heavy old lump, isn't it, you know, to do this kind of thing. But, you know, um, just, uh, well, in the forest in Berkshire, I'm just going to head out to a little forest side uh, cafe just nearby here. Really cool cycling shop uh, predominantly, uh, but it's a shop um, cafe. But uh, not many people know about it, which is you know, which is a good thing really in some in some respects. Um, so it's not really a biker cafe, you know, but it's uh, but it's a cool. I hate doing that as well. I don't know why I do that. Um, anyway. Uh, but it's been a great ride through here. As you can see, the trail's really nice. There's the main road right there. So I'm sort of in between Reading and Maidenhead here in Berkshire in the UK. Um, so parts of this actually was, I found out, I just found out, parts of this forest are, are private and part of it is public access. Um, well, put it this way, it didn't say it's private and there's no trails on there and no private property signs or keep out signs. So. You know, and I see lots of people riding around and walking around, so I think, well, okay, maybe. Uh, granted, not on a motorbike, I'll give you that. But anyway. Anyway, so this is a uh, biker's travelogue for today. You know, it's been a bit of a, ooh, it's been a bit of a challenge. <laughs> it took me a while to catch my breath there. And, um, well, you know, just goes to show that you can get caught out at any, at any, point, any point. And, uh, you know, you just got to have that determination, I suppose, the resolve to get yourself out of a sticky situation you know it's not always it's not always easy I, i'll give you that it's you know a lot easier if you've got two of you three of you you know you can help each other out if you go solo riding like i do i must be an idiot I must be a glunt for punishment uh you know you have the only person you can rely on is yourself so you've got to get yourself out of it uh yeah you can take a few tools but unfortunately at the end of the day it comes down to physical ability you know to be able to get that bike out of there if you've got a lighter bike obviously you know it's not much of a problem but a big old lump and you can see i mean it was, you know actually dirt wise it wasn't that bad i'll just get rid of that uh, but it's just a rear tire it got clogged you know it got caught up in in clay start spinning around got caught up on a true tree root that was beneath the the surface as well and that's it just started slipping out from under me so I ended up having to take a bit of a run up and get over it. Check out my other, my other riding video, riding time video, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, anyway, whew, ready for the next, next part of the day. So, catch you next time on the next Bikers Travelogue, whenever that is. Cheers.